Good morning, Gracians. Welcome to our daily devotional, Grace Every Morning. I'm Pastor Jadine, one of the pastors with Grace Discipleship Institute. Today, we are reflecting on Exodus 21. The first verse of the chapter tells us, These are the regulations you must present to Israel. Moses was told by the Lord to set laws and regulations to show the Israelites how they should treat one another whether it was within the family and household or outside with the friends and neighbours. God cares for those who are unfairly treated and those who suffer injury or harm. So these long lists of do's and don'ts are not just part of social norm or etiquette or restrictions or obligations, but they show that God wanted them to treat one another with kindness and grace. The laws set the boundaries where they should not go beyond so that each person's dignity and life are protected. When I was a young Christian, I tried very hard to obey whatever precepts and teachings that was taught. I enjoyed the Bible studies, worship, and even the Christian fellowship. But sometimes, and and I still am, wary of people having to deal with the messiness of disagreements and conflicts. Things are a lot simpler when it's just between me and God. I found it difficult to talk to people who hurt me, to say sorry to people I might have hurt, or admit and own up to things I had done wrong. My first action was to hide uh, and making amends was certainly the last thing on my mind. When I had to make amends, I realised I probably did it more as an obligation because it was the right thing to do. I had yet to grasp the intention and principles behind the commandments written in scriptures. I did not fully understand God's heart that He put them in to guide us in our relationship with Him and with one another. Over time, I realized that He was using all those difficult moments and difficult people to mold me and grow me. Only through the Holy Spirit changing my heart was I able to face them and talk things out, and I'm still learning. The Lord knows that we cannot truly love Him without loving one another. Sometimes in our very human and very selfish ways, we don't realize or want to admit that our actions can end up hurting people. Indeed, God cares about our relationships with one another. Do we treat each other with kindness and fairness? Do we admit it to them when we have hurt them? willing to make compensation or even receive punishment when we have grievously harmed them, even when done accidentally. We may not follow those specific laws written specially for the nation of Israel in that particular culture, time and place. But may we see God's word and precepts as the outflow of the heart of God who created us and wants us all to live life to the full growing in Christ-likeness, then our obedience to Him will be from the heart, not because we have to, but because we want to. Let's pray. God, thank you for your word. Thank you for your heart for people. And you want us to treat them with love and kindness. Enable us to, Holy Spirit, to do that every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. Do take some time now to look at the application reflections prepared for you and your family. Happy National Day and may we all love each other with God's love and kindness. Blessings.